Good afternoon, Stitchers. This is Teresa, not a sampler stitcher. Today is mm, it's Wednesday, <laughs> uh, March 18th. Right, because yesterday was St. Patrick's Day and tomorrow Snoopy's got a vet appointment. Um, and today, which was supposed to be yesterday, is going to be my pattern stash number six, I think. Five or six. I really need to get better at remembering that. Anyway, um, and I, I have learned my lesson. I really need to do all my picture taking and editing of the pictures and such on the weekend. Because it took me about, about two, two to three hours last night just to do the pictures and get them in and ready to go and, you know, crop them and take out all the stuff that I didn't want in there and such. And by the time I was done with that last night, it was just like, no, I'm not. It's too dark. I got to have my window, um, which is this side. This side. And it's probably really bright, but it's overclock. It's overcast today. And it's been raining pretty much all day. So this is probably as good as it's going to get right now. Um, and I, I'm kind of in a hurry. It's like 6 o'clock. I want to get this done. Um, I had intended on coming straight home and doing this. And then I decided that I wanted caramel corn. So I made a, my son and I made a batch of caramel corn. And then I got talking to a friend and texting back and forth and so that you know and my local one of my local grocery stores kind of set me off yesterday and then they topped it off today and uh i had to wrap some because i i really don't and i haven't hi ruby uh i have not done a whole lot of posting or anything about the COVID-19 or anything else because I don't want to get into it with people. Um, but Monday when I went to town, my middle son asked me, he says, Mom, you got any toilet paper? He says, I don't have any. I said, dude, if you've not been, he said, no, I've not been paying attention. He says, I didn't think everybody in the world would go out and hoard toilet paper. And I said, all right. I said, I'll bring some in, Mom. After work, I had to go to our local store. <clears throat> There's only two grocery, real straight up grocery stores, old time grocery stores that don't have, you know, it's not. We've got a Walmart, but we also have two grocery stores. I had to get Chief's thyroid meds. I get them at the grocery store because they're cheaper than that. So I went in to get his meds, and I thought, well, I'm going to check. Let's see if they've got toilet paper. They did. Okay. Not a, not a price in sight, just signs that say limit one. Okay. It's my son and his roommate, a couple of guys, you know, six rolls of toilet paper ought to last them long enough for more to get in. So I grabbed the cheapest looking package I could find, six rolls, you know, or mega rolls or whatever. Eight dollars. I pay... Normally, when I go, I buy, what is it, the 12 Mega Rolls, Sherman or whatever. I don't pay over 10 bucks for 12 friggin' rolls. Eight bucks. Didn't complain. I just paid it. Got out of there. That was bad enough. Yes, I took a picture. Yes, I'm emailing it to officials. I get home today, I get done making the caramel corn. I'm, you know, 
kind of jazz. That's that's one of my kind of comfort foods when I just want something. Get on my Facebook and this particular store has this, you know, video. Oh, we want to curb any rumors that we've heard are going around. The first rumor is, is that we can't sell alcohol. So they go, go on for like at least a minute. I didn't watch the whole thing because by the time I saw the first minute, I was totally infuriated. You can get this alcohol and this alcohol and we've got the cheapest prices in town and and all I'm thinking is wonderful. Now, all the people that panic bought every roll of friggin' toilet paper in the country is now going to go out and panic buy alcohol so they can get drunk, go to work with it thinking it's just a hangover and get everybody else sick. Yay! Okay, rant done. On to, on to the, sorry. I just get super frustrated at people. One of the reasons why I'm just, I wish I could self-quarantine permanently. Anyway, so I've got one, two, let's see, got to look at my list. Three, four, six different pattern sets. Um... Let's see. Three of them are leaflets. One of them is a single chart and two of them are books. So it's Along the Countryside by Daphne's Creations. Um, designs by Gloria and Pat. And it was printed in 1979. That was the sixth printing. Alphabets for Babies by Leisure Arts. All Through the House, Christmas and Cross Stitch, which is a Vanessa Ann collections. All Through the House, which was a Leisure Arts. It's a Christmas Remembered, number 14. Alluring Eyes, which is a single chart. It's Custom Crafts. And Along Nature's Path, which is another leaflet by Stony Creek. All the information will be down in the description box. I, I, as much as I would like to s make the video longer, I don't know about you, but it's so much easier for me to just scroll down and get the information and write it down myself. If you're yabbering at me about it, I'm not going to get it. Um, so that's what that is. Again, a lot of these, well, actually, only three of them are really, like, two of them are animal. I don't, I think along the countryside's got some, but it's also just got some, like, uh, little ones that are, you know, flowers or, or, I'd call them weeds. They're probably not technically, but like prairie, prairie grasses and stuff. Um, some little ones that are in there and stuff you would see along the countryside or along the road out, you know, in the country. I haven't done anything out of that. I, they tend to be very brown patterns. Lots of the, of the, I don't even want to call them neutral. They're drab and brown. And and I like the idea of them. I just haven't had enough color in my life lately, I guess. <laughs> and so I haven't gotten into that one. Um, and I don't think I've done anything out of the alphabets for the baby. One of the two Christmas ones I've done a couple ornaments out of. Because I know one of them I sent to my nephew. But I don't know if I, I don't know about anything else in there. And then the single one and the other pamphlet, I haven't just because I haven't gotten there yet. You know, I've only got oodles of patterns. So, you know, it's going to take me a while to get through them all. And I'm starting, you know, I started with the numbers and now I'm in A's and... Yeah.
So, uh, anyway, next week I should have updates on my Hade, Lunch with a Toothpick. I might actually get butterflies finished. I tried so hard this weekend, or this past weekend, to get all that back stitching done, and there's a lot of it. And I know it's going to make it really look great, but yeah. And I've done all but one of the flowers is done. The big butterfly, all the brown's done on him. Now I'm going back and trying to do the black. Well, the black is supposed to outline the black. And I Sunday, I finally just was like, I don't even know where I'm at. I'm putting it up and I was going to work on my lunch with the toothpicks some more and I just didn't and I have not stitched since then. I have I didn't have time Monday. I didn't have time yesterday. Um, my wonderful son is going to make dinner tonight so maybe I'll actually have a little bit of time before I get too tired. Uh, things have been stressful. I am not in a position that I can self-quarantine as much as I would like to. Um, not necessarily because I'm overly concerned about getting it, but I just, I think that the self-quarantine is a good idea, especially after hearing some of the stuff coming out of Italy. Yeah. Anyway, enough of that. Um, so I'll work some on that. Let's see. This week was supposed to be butterflies, so I think you'll see some update on sunflowers, too. Or maybe kitties, but I don't remember. Uh, one of them. And as soon as I get butterflies done, I haven't decided yet whether to start something else or to just get something else done. Uh, I know that Caroline off the grid needleworks started a... Um, hashtag on what was it a, a self help new start or something to that effect which was awesome but I don't need another start until something gets finished at least and uh, so you know we'll see but I keep watching and and I wanted to I don't know if Lisa Smith will hear me but thank you for for subscribing to my channel and same with Primitive Stitcher and uh, I do appreciate those or at least I know that they both you know what may, I don't know if they subscribe or not but I do know that they both left comments so I guess I should make sure I say that right because I don't know some of them are still uh, keeping themselves private on their subscription list because uh, I know that I'm up to 47 so somebody said something because I was sitting at like 42 for forever uh, and but there's still only like maybe 20 people on my list so um, and maybe I'll do a giveaway when I hit 50 maybe we'll see anyway I will let you guys go. I hope you have a have had a good week and are going to have a good week. And please stay safe. Please try, you know, wash your hands. You know the routine, guys. You're all smart. Uh, if you if you can self quarantine, do it. I'd be doing it if I could. All of our schools are closed. Uh, you know. We're, we're running about with a lot of people, a lot of the different states right now. So anyway, be safe, be good, take care, and I'll see you next week. Bye now.